The mass of an object is a measure of how much matter is in it. So the mass is determined by the density of an object. So that is the size of the particles within it and how tightly packed together they are. For example, think of a feather and a rock. The feather has a very low density, so a low mass, whereas the rock has a high density and therefore a higher mass. Remember that mass is measured in kilograms, but of course we can convert it to other units like milligrams or grams. The mass of an object determines various properties, such as how much effect forces have, or the time taken to heat it up or to change its state. So is this same as the weight of the object? Well, weight is the force acting on an object due to gravity. Remember that a gravitational force is the attraction between two objects that have mass, but it only becomes noticeable for objects with a larger mass. In general, we use weight to describe the gravitational force a planet enacts on a smaller object. Objects with larger masses will have more weight. So in this example, the feather has a weight of 0.0007 newtons and the rock 0.3 newtons. The rock has more weight as it has a larger mass. So mass and weight are not the same thing. And this is a really common mistake to make in exams. But where in the object does the weight act from? Well, the centre of mass is the single point in an object that we can consider weight to be acting from. So the centres of mass in these objects are shown by the red circles. All points in the object experience weight and the centre of mass is a simplification of this. So what exactly is the difference between weight and mass? Well, the weight acting on an object depends on the gravitational field strength at its current location. The gravitational field strength is a measure of how strong the gravitational force from the object will be. So as an example, an apple at the Earth's surface experiences a strong gravitational force. However, an apple far from the Earth's surface experiences a weaker force as the field strength decreases with distance. An apple at the Moon's surface experiences an even weaker force as the Moon has a smaller mass and therefore a weaker field. So does the mass of the apple also change? The mass of the object is the same in any gravitational field. So the apple has the same mass at all locations. This is why mass and weight are not the same. Make sure you understand this point as you may be asked to explain this in your exams. So how should we measure weight? We can measure weight using a calibrated Newton meter. The weight can be attached to a Newton meter by fixing the top and then hanging it from a hook at the bottom. The weight pulls down the spring and the extension is proportional to the force exerted. So by measuring the extension of the spring, we can measure the weight. And we can calibrate the Newton meter by attaching known masses and weights and then marking the extension of the spring to create a calibrated scale. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.